Growing concerns for flooding across southwestern Montana as we look out into the next five to seven days. Hello, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd. Let's get into your flood briefing. Let's start with a look at an aerial pressure over Salt Lake lifting to the north and east. It's already kicking off several rounds of thunderstorms this afternoon, but this is going to bring some heavier rain to the area tomorrow morning. And flash flooding is a huge concern. So we'll look at forecast models, starting with a short-term forecast, a high-resolution model, through Thursday into Friday. We could see a half an inch to an inch plus. And as this model takes us out into the weekend and early next week, well, there's a lot of potential energy likely to hit Montana. So we got a pretty unsettled and very wet weather pattern likely to build over the next two weeks. So let's start with this afternoon. We're picking up some slow moving storms, hit and miss. And you can see bigger waves of moisture moving in across southwest Montana tomorrow morning. This has a big implications for some flash flooding uh, in our area, especially east of the divide. And then we start to see more of a scattered thunderstorm activity late into the afternoon. So flood warnings are up for the Big Hole River, as uh, we stated yesterday. Minor to moderate flooding is possible from Wisdom to Twin Bridges. Be cautious with all your activities around the Big Hole and its tributaries. Now a flood warning has been issued for the Jefferson. It's estimated to hit moderate, maybe major flood stage by Saturday. It could hit nine feet, maybe a little higher. Uh, that's an estimate by the National Weather Service and that'll have bigger impacts between Cardwell and Three Forks. Uh, flood washes up uh, from Livingston to Billings. They're expecting a half an inch to two inches of rainfall over the next 24 hours. And again, we're mainly concerned about some hit and miss thunderstorms this afternoon. Some of these could be slow moving storms and bring some locally heavy rainfall, which could lead to some minor flash flooding issues around Southwest Montana. So pay close attention to the latest weather forecasts as uh, things will be changing over the next day or two, but a high probability that there could be some flooding issues across Southwest Montana.